When the AC guard box is open, you should find the contents inside similar to this. All your plates will be taped to the side with your set screws and things, and then just remove everything from the content of the box and lay it out separately. After removing the contents from the box, it's best if you lay it all out flat. Your right side, your center, your left side, your back bar, and your three mounting ba uh, brackets along with your bag of tools. Next you're going to get three measurements on your condenser. You're going to need the width of the condenser, the depth, and then last, the height. Next, you're just going to take the cage, the main frame of the cage, and extend it to the height that you need your condenser to go. So if we need 42 inches, it's 44. We're going to set the height, keeping the center bar aesthetically pleasing, make it equal. I've got 10 inches here, and I've got 11 or 12 inches there. I need to bring this down just a little bit and make it the distance that I need. When I have my height set up where I like it, I then take my set screw wrench and tighten the set screws. Don't tighten them too hard yet. You might want to make an adjustment. Now, I'm going to widen the cage. I want 34 inches. I'm going to go from the inside here to the inside. Expand it to 34 inches. When you get to where you want it, just lay it back down to the ground. When the width is set, double check it one more time. Tighten up your set. Once this is set in place, grab one side, pick it up. It's best if you put the center in first. Drop the center in, pull this up, drop it down into this one, come down here, and drop this in as well. When these are all fit in place, then you can take your pins out, place your pins in there. Don't set it yet. Don't put the grommet on the end because you may want to make some alterations. Do the same thing to the other side. Now that we've got the cage, the, the sides on, tip it straight up, take this back bar, place it on the other on the back side, put it together, and set these pins in place. Next, when you get the back bar on, you measure the depth. We want the depth to be 36 inches because that's what our condenser is. So now we just extend it here, make a measurement. I've got 37. I need to come in just a little bit. 36 right on the button. Now I can tighten these set screws because this operates the depth. Now everything's tightened up. We're ready to, to prepare or put this around the condenser to see how the size fits. All you do, pick it up. I leverage it. Make sure it fits. Now we're going to need to make some minor adjustments. Next, we're going to want to set the mounting brackets. What I've found to be easiest, take a screwdriver and score the concrete or the pad on either side of where you want the uh, pad to go. So we're going to score here and over there. Next, we're going to want to remove the cage one more time so we can drill each of our mounting brackets where we scored the concrete. Now we take our mounting bracket. We've got the lines on the ground. Make sure it's offset that this part, it goes forward or to the outside. So you set it right where it needs to go and drill. Holes are drilled and you just place the AC guard back over top. Now your plate is mounted underneath this bracket. If you buy the AC guard locks, it's the best deal in town. Just take your locks now, open them up, put them on. You're not locked down. Do that to the left, the right, and the front. If your condenser is smaller, you can purchase the top bar. This extends to any size that your condenser cage has been made to. So, in this case, we would extend it here, we could go across here, or we could go this way. It doesn't matter. There's a U-shape. It goes underneath and up. It does not go down from the top. That way when the mounting brackets are put in place, a thief can't get to it. You're now ready to do this on your own. It's simple, takes about 15 to 25 minutes, depends on your situation, and you can make some customers real happy in, uh, 
increase sales and uh, protect some people's property. Thank you very much.